why is it that customers often say yes to additional products? I mean, they want to buy one thing in the first place, and then there is something that makes them buy more. How does that work? Yeah, great question. Um, I think the, the upsells that work the best are from people who really understand the consumer psychology. So it's all about positioning and framing, right? Like if you're going through a purchase and then you see right after, you know, right after you have that euphoria moment of completing the transaction, you see a personalized relevant offer with perhaps a discount um, or like a full landing page that explains like why it's compelling. That will work a lot better than just, you know, some random offer that doesn't really look nice or like have much accompanying copy or things like that. Uh, it's all about relevance and understanding like why someone would purchase as you're saying. Um, and the answer depends per store, depends per you know customer persona. All these things are are important to maximize the the effect of cross selling and upselling. You mentioned personalization. How important is that? How important is that you get something for I don't know your user behavior or how do you find out? Yeah. To- off with the but right it product. is important. We try to enable it as much as possible. Uh, like even even something as simple as having like the person's name on the upsell offer makes a difference. Um, that's what we allow a lot of merchants to do. Is like you know just saying like, hey, Klaus, like you've unlocked X Y Z offer. That's more effective than just saying you've unlocked X Y Z offer. Um, something as small as that makes a difference. And you know, deeper level, we have uh, we have a system where people can create different funnels, uh, so different uh, customer journeys can be targeted with different types of offers. And the more you're able to tap into that, the more you're able to you know, understand those customer journeys and show different offers that are relevant for those types of customer journeys, the more effective you'll be. I want to learn a little bit more about these different funnels. Now, obviously, these funnels might have different entry points. Uh, we're talking here about in-cart, about checkout, post-purchase, upsells, confirmation pages. There's different ways to do that. But talk me through the different ways on how to get some want to buy more. So yeah, there's a bunch of different ways. Um, so it starts with with the cart. Uh, so we have a full slider cart product where we allow merchants to create a cart that feels on brand um, and then also has these ways to boost AOVs. Uh, there's direct like upsells and cross sells. Um, so at the bottom, it's like, you know, it sh- kind of shows a carousel where there's a bunch of additional items that you can add to cart. Um, we also have this concept of add-ons um, where it's a bit different, but it's also an upsell, but it's a bit different in the way it's implemented. Um, it's it's more used for things like uh, shipping protection or extended warranty or these kinds of like things where it's not a direct new product. It's kind of like you know a- a- enhancing what you or what you're already purchasing in some way. Then in checkout, uh, we ha- we have offers that are like almost part of the checkout, so it feels native. You know, it feels like it's just right there at the right moment. Um, and then lastly, post purchase, like I mentioned. We have a full page uh, where we can kind of create a landing page. And I think that's actually the most effective for generating uh, additional revenue just because it's right after the transaction. So, you know, whenever you buy something, there is a little bit of dopamine that happens and that that kind of primes the, the shopper to see this, opter, see this offer and be receptive to it. Um, and then also it's like a full page. So there's really nothing else to be distracted by or think about. 